Hi friends and welcome back to my channel Lotus Geek. In today's video, we are going to fix your issue Windows setup could not configure Windows to run on this computer's hardware. So let's go ahead and fix out this issue. At this point of time, you need to press the Shift and F10 key. This will open command prompt to you. Now here in command prompt, you need to type here few commands one by phone. First of all, make sure that you choose your Windows installation drive letter. For example, by default, Windows installation drive letter is C. But here in command prompt, it is changed to D. So I'll go ahead and type the series one by one. Type CD and then hit the enter key. Now here type D, sorry, CD space D drive, which is the, my Windows installation drive. Slash Windows slash system32 slash double OBE and then hit the enter key. Once it is done, again type D drive and then hit the enter key. Now type MS double OBE and then hit the enter button. Once it is done, your command is completed. Now go ahead and close this command prompt from here and you will get the login screen like this. Now you can proceed with the credentials to login into your windows. Now the problem occurs when this method doesn't work out. Now we are going to proceed to the second step. Now in second method, you need to choose someone else PC to download the drivers of your hard disk, which is either Intel or AMD. To make this video short and simple, I will provide you the link of this particular video in the description below, you need to choose the second method. Click on the timeline and here is the second method. In second method, you need to follow as it is just by simply downloading the drivers either for Intel or AMD. What you need to do is to simply load the drivers in your system while installing Windows. At here, you need to click on the option load drivers to load your hard disk driver. Complete tutorial is given in this video. Now if both the methods doesn't work out, try to disable your overclocking if you have ever done by entering into your BIOS menu. Sometimes this simple trick also work out. So these are the three best possible ways to fix out your issue. If this video works out for you, please click on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon to continue receiving more updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.